Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cbrev. Welcome back to another episode of What Would Brev Do? It's been a while for this series. If you guys have missed the channel update, it's in the description below what's been going on with me and stuff. But for now, we are going to play some ranked seasons. I've been on the ranked grind last day of the season trying to get to World Series, get that milestone. Randy, I've been recording all day and haven't gotten a gameplay worthy of posting yet. It's been pretty smooth sailing, I guess. Um, now we're at 883, so one potentially one win away from World Series. We'll see what rating our opponent ends up at. But this is the squad we've been using this season, kind of mixed matching um, some guys I wanted to try out. Bobby Witt has been surprisingly very good, as has Mike Piazza. Not as surprisingly, but surprising that he's been doing this good. 12 for 16 in Hall of Fame ranks so far. Uh, Mickey off to a somewhat slow start. He was at 313 batting average two games ago, so picked it up a bit. Um, and I moved him down from leadoff to two hole just because I felt like I was pressing with him in the leadoff spot. I'm not sure why. Um, anyway, we are going to be using Takashi at Shohei today. Um, and we're going to be going over like the do's and don'ts with Shohei's, which I've done, you know, in the past, but good to recap, I guess. Uh, this Shohei card is probably the best we've had. <laughs> So uh, if you notice the lineup, the first one is to change your batting order. Um, having Shohei hitting ninth is a massive mistake, in my opinion. Um, having Shohei in your rotation is mo a lot of a lot of the part of it is for the bat, and so having that bat in the nine hole is a bit of a mistake because uh, you could end up in a situation where it's like the fourth inning and you kind of want to take Shohei out, but he's only hit once. Uh, as opposed to here, I have him in the three hole. He'll at least have two at-bats through the fourth inning. Um, and then if I want to take him out, you know, let's say he hits, and then we get to, like, the five hole, and then I want to take him out. Now we've got seven more hitters before I have to pinch hit. So it's almost like a double switch before the game happens. Uh, I think it's really important. So that's why we typically have Shohei batting in the three hole. If I was more comfortable with left-handed hitters leadoff, I would consider hitting Shohei leadoff. But something I've learned about myself this year is that for some reason having a lefty hitting first just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it's the shift. Uh, I don't know if I'm just in my head about it, but uh, I don't really bat a left-handed hitter above like third now, I would say. Depends on who we have, though. Like It's a lot easier to pick and choose at this point in the year when everyone's a 99. <laughs> so, oh, he backed out. That means we're going to have to search twice more because we're going to get kicked out of the next one. So we will let the meter run a bit here. Just a match with someone ASAP. For some reason, this has been in the game all year where, like, if you queue into someone and they back out, the next time you uh, search for a match and match with someone, it kicks you back out. So just trying to find literally anyone here. So we can go back to regular searching. Mission accomplished, part one. I think Shohei pitcher-wise is definitely taking a step back. Um, it, it's partially because there's just so many juiced cards this year. Like a lot of pitcher cards that typically didn't have like the per nines or the outlier that they needed to be better um, have gotten it this year. So, you know, Shohei's pretty much stayed the same while a lot of other pitcher options have gotten better. And I know a lot of people in the community really think Shohei is like not a good pitcher in game, uh, which I think is fair. The bat is so valuable though, especially if you can take advantage of it. So long story short, hopefully we can just get a decent outing out of him and maybe we can put on display why I think batting him high in the order is super important and why batting him in ninth puts you at a disadvantage before the game even starts. All right, hopefully this person doesn't back out. And hopefully the connection is better than it was in that lineup screen. What are we looking at here? All right, we're facing parallel four to Grom. It's not perfect game, Randy, and we're the home team. I would say that's a double W. This is, uh, could have been a lot worse. <laughs> DeGrom's not really fun, but, you know, we have a ton of reps against him. I faced DeGrom in one of the games I recorded earlier that I didn't post. And I said, I've just faced him so much because of last year that um, he's definitely gotten easier. 
And the fact that you can't throw high speeds or high sliders as accurately this year is definitely made it easier to hit against him. All right, so first pitch swinging with Trout on a pitch pretty well below the zone, and we get a first pitch ground out. We like to see that. Um, so Shohei getting the primary slider on this card, which is pretty cool. Also outlier on the four seam, so that's going to help the card out a lot. Um, but one of the big don'ts I try to do with Shohei, I almost never throw sliders to lefties. They always seem to get crushed. Like, it's too loopy to get someone to chase with two strikes in my experience. And if it catches the zone versus a lefty, it's, it's not going to be a good time. So because of that, I try to throw a decent amount of sliders to righties just to feature the pitch more. And then when it comes to lefties, it's a lot more four-seam cutter. Uh, four-seam cutter splitter is what I'm trying to say. Threw me off because I saw the PCI and immediately realized I'm facing P4 to Grom on Legend here. So this, this will be fun. <laughs> Am I? That changeup looked kind of slow, actually. Maybe I'm in my head already. I don't know. That PCI looks like legend. I'm going to pause and look just so I can get get back to thinking about the game. That was a hanging slider that we missed, unfortunately. If you didn't know, you can go to the game log and it tells you the difficulty now. Yeah, it's on legend. Alrighty. Well, that's somewhat good news because if we win, it means we are in World Series for sure because playing someone in the 900s is going to give us 17 points. I don't know if I mentioned I'm at 883. Just over the top of that. Worst animation I've ever seen. <laughs> That's how you get Mickey Mantle on base. We are getting a rage fastball here. We got to hit a home run. Or I'm going to swing over the top of a rage slider. This game has been weird so far. I don't know what's up with my PCI placement. Shohei, the pitcher, moving the runner over with a sacrifice. Love to see it. All right, let's talk about hitting against DeGrom. Obviously, anyone with outlier, it's pretty important to take away the fastball if you can. DeGrom's really hard because his slider is so hard um, that you don't have a lot of time to react to it, even when you're sitting fastball. That's just a disgusting spot. I don't know how you ever hit that spot. <laughs> Um, DeGrom also has the two seam, which makes it harder to sit on four seam. But like I said, the reps and seeing him so much last year has definitely helped me. You guys can let me know if it's helped you. This guy looks pretty uncomfortable with the plate as well, so I wonder if this is his first Legend game after making World Series. Try to throw the slider in. I don't like the pitch against lefties, but if I... I'm in an 0-2 spot, and I know it's going to be a ball. We can throw it for show one time. So far, so good for show. I wish his at-bat went a little bit better. I need to take some more pitches as well. I'm going to try to stay away from sliders versus righties this inning because I threw it a lot in the first inning. So we're just going to try to stay unpredictable and not really throw it as much. Blowing the outlier four seam by him. Yeah, I'm not sure this guy was ready for legend himself. <laughs> I'm just happy that uh, we didn't end up facing Milestone Randy if this is his first game after making it. Let's see here. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to backdoor a cutter here. I kind of want to double up four seam away, but he might be sitting on it. All right, we'll take that. Not much to say with Shoei so far. Pretty typical sequencing. Like I said, I really don't like throwing sliders to lefties, but I did throw the one just because I knew it was going to be a ball. And really just trying to stay unpredictable. Don't really like that change up with the shift on. I maybe should have taken a hack at the first pitch. And that's the pitch you absolutely have to lay off of against DeGrom. The sliders into lefties. Just cannot swing at it or you're going to have a bad time. If they paint you inside, it is what it is. I didn't feel that early there. Tough at bat there for us. Shift on again. Looking for stuff outside. We're late on the slider. We are... 
ourselves having a very hard time adjusting to Legend here. And it's away. Uh, we were kind of hitting bad on Hall of Fame all day, too, so getting back in the swing of things has been tough. This one that might leave. Paul Canerco, late sign of good. I don't know what that pitch selection was, but I'll take it. That was a freebie. Up and in change is weird there. Four seam now? Yeah. Oh, just late. So that's a typical like uh, autopilot pitch that I've talked about many times in the past where if somebody gives up a home run on off speed and they pitch again really quickly, it's almost always the opposite pitch of what they threw because subconsciously you don't want to throw the same pitch that you just got rocked on. So you can catch people sleeping sometimes like that. I don't think I swung. Okay. <sighs> Gotta lay off these sliders away too. I'm worried about him painting a four seam though. It seems like he wants to. I don't know how he keeps hitting that spot. That's that pitch is so gross. It's a dot. Okay, moving on. Try to sit back at because I saw two seam out of the hand, but I just sat back too long. Kind of dicing me this inning, aside from the one bad pitch. Cannot swing at sliders in. He paints a four seam. He wins. I was right down the middle and I missed. Big sad. All right, that's down the line. Now we got Chipper Jones in the nine hole, I think. This is the one of the major upsides for Otani is the fact that I now have Chipper Jones hitting instead of an automatic out in the nine hole. Like, can't be understated how important something like this is. Yeah, Shohei not the greatest pitcher at times, but taking away the automatic out in your lineup, at least in the beginning of the game, is a big deal. Even if you take awful at bats like I do. Anyway, he went uh, high. He went up and in change up again. O2 there. That is actually so weird. All right. Trying to figure out where he's at here. I kind of feel like I should still stay away from sliders here too. Like it's definitely a pitch with Shohei that you can't overthrow. Ooh, he was all over that. If that was in the zone, we pr he probably hits a home run. So 0-2 fastball is off the table for us now. We'll keep that in mind. At least up and in. I'm going to throw one here. Hopefully he doesn't crush this. I think he was late. All right, well, Shohei's cruising so far. We get the pitcher spot now. 19 pitches thrown. It is DeGrom, though, so not a guaranteed out. This is a, a very good spot to be in when you're using Otani on the mound. Like, being ahead and not getting shelled on the mound, it's really hard to come back against somebody like that because I don't have to take Otani out. And also, I have nine hitters in the lineup. Like, getting out to a fast start is massive. I guess the other side of that coin is, like, learning how to hit Otani is really important because falling behind against him is really brutal. I'm not really sure how late I was there. That's a bit unfortunate. That was just a one pitch out. I'm getting a little swing happy, but he's also hanging a lot of pitches. Uh, I'm going to try to... I think I'm just going to straight take till two strikes with Mickey here. Uh, I'm feeling kind of uncomfortable with the plate. He's thrown us a lot of hittable pitches, and we haven't done much with them, so we kind of need to regroup. Okay. Typical setup would now be slider at our feet, which we're not going to swing at. Sue's one step ahead of me, I guess. Dang. Good pitch. This guy pitches weird with DeGrom, man. Where are the sliders at? We got to figure it out at the plate, though, because this is uh, 
turning into a very losable game. And welcome back. Here's Trout. Leading off. All right. First pitch four seam here. Still trying to get a feel for the sliders. Uh, or his bat speed, I guess, with the sliders. He sat back on the last one really well, even though he popped out, so it's still kind of a scary pitch. That was not at all where I wanted that. Uh, we could backdoor cutter again. He's probably ready for it though. Let's try force him in the same tunnel. Maybe blow it by him. Did not blow it by him. Okay, so that tells us next time versus a lefty we want to try that cutter again because he would have been early. That was a really good cut on the four seam. You can see uh, the advantages of pitching off of the corners here too. A lot of the balls he's put in play with good timing this game have been off the corner. And he's either been over the top or underneath it, which is why we try to do that. Shouldn't need to die for that. Nice. Um... I really like pitching off the corner, especially at four seams, because if somebody jams like straight over or straight to the corner, they're going to miss. I do that a lot and don't really talk about it as much anymore, but it's uh, probably the most common spot that I put a four-seam fastball in. All right, down 0-2 again. Big boy take. He has thrown sliders up there. I don't think I can sit on it, though. It's too weird of a pitch. It's a great pitch from him. Got to protect. We might have to get a little chase happy now. We can't keep striking out looking. That was too chase happy. <laughs> oh, man. This is a big struggle this game. I'm glad he's not hitting either. That was awful. Here's a perfect against the shift up the middle base hit. We love the hanging changeups. Do we get a four seam now? It's very awkward because I don't want to roll over on a two seam, but I kind of want to sit four seam. It was a two seam. Thank God I fouled it. <clears throat> Not going to do much with that. Probably just let it rip here. Yeah, that was too far off the plate. I don't really want him to, like, paint a changeup or a four seam on me. We struck out looking a lot more than we struck out swinging here, so we kind of have to make the adjustment of... Oh, my God. Didn't miss that by much, but it's two outs. Legend is hard for me, anyways. But I hope you guys got what I was saying before I grounded into that double play. That the, the most success he's had against us with two strikes is catching us looking. So we need to make the adjustment of making him earn it and like actually throwing a ball that we swing and miss at to get a strikeout instead of us just giving it to him. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches for a bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Again, the sliders versus righties. It's basically the only time you can throw it, so I try to feature it a decent amount. Trying to stay away from the four seam here, too. For some reason, I'm kind of getting the vibe that he's sitting on it. That was a good cut, but it's off the plate. Shohei is pitching really well. Four and two thirds, 35 pitches. It does kind of seem like he's sitting on it. I guess that means we throw cutters more. Let's try cutters this at bat. One of the nice parts about Shohei getting outlier is it makes the differential between his updated cutter and his four seam a lot better. I think he was late there. 
Weird. Alright, let's try to bury a splitter. Maybe he bails us out. Worth a shot. Let's throw a curve. Maybe he bails us out. Also, we haven't thrown one yet. It's fine. That caught way too much of the plate. I'm lucky he was late on that. I backed out of throwing a front door cutter at the last minute there in my mind because I thought he might be ready for it. We kind of threw it a lot. Good swing there from Witt. He's been playing so well. Let's see if we can get a rally going with the bottom of the order here. 99 speed leading it off. Really don't want to hit into another double play, man. Got to be careful of the two seams. We do not want anything to do with that pitch. It's fine. I think we're looking to hit changeups and sliders here. That one's gross. Well, now we don't have a choice. Good take. Alright, we're going to change our approach and we're going to chase inside if it's a slider. There we go, baby. So that is textbook. I mean, the PCI wasn't great, but I'll take the result. Textbook making adjustments, man. For some reason, this guy doesn't want me to... I did not hit replay. I might have hit replay on accident. <laughs> I was moving my controller. Um, for some reason, this guy does not throw like chase pitches with two strikes. He's constantly trying to strike me out looking. So we make the adjustment. I always go into DeGrom games saying I'm not going to chase inside with lefties. But the way this guy's pitching, I just have to I have to at least let it rip against that pitch once. Like if he throws a slider and we flail at it, at least we we try to change something up, you know. That was just uh hope you guys can understand that adjustment and how big that was. There he is again. So I don't know. This is a, a very weird DeGrom opponent, but I think we've somewhat figured him out. There he is again, trying to catch us looking. So weird. I'll take it, though. We're going to stick with this unless we feel him starting to make an adjustment, which he hasn't so far. There it is. All right, that's okay. If we would have done that last at bat, I would have been fine with it. Good adjustment from him. We're not going to readjust yet. Because he might think that was a one-off. If he throws us a slider in, we're going to swing and miss again. Yeah, that was super foreign side. I think that's enough info to tell us that he's adjusted. So maybe we go back now. We're going to stick with the approach just this at bat. The next at bat, we'll switch it up. I did not think I missed that. What? Weird. I thought I had good timing on that, to be honest. It's kind of a tough strikeout. Is that gone, Mickey Mantle? He's thrown us a lot of first pitch four seams, too. That was maybe the shortest home run possible you could possibly hit here. <laughs> good stuff, Mickey. Off speed. Yes. Missed it. All right, Otani. Get something done at the plate now. Swinging a lot early in the count here, too. Possibly a mistake. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. Cut on Good pitch. Good inning though. Welcome back. Now it's gonna Got three. Show is 0 for three, unfortunately. Kinda want him to pop off at the dish too. That's a very uh, a swing that very much think makes me think he's pressing here. Also, we'll probably get Degrom out of the game this inning. Okay, he sat back on that really well. Um, 
I think against righties, we're gonna have to try to... Let's get into this with no dive. Look at the speed. Another pitch that's off the corner that he swings over the top of. Um, against righties, I think I'm gonna start throwing more four seams inside. Seems like he's adjusted to the cutter. Versus lefties, we're gonna stick with cutters. Again, trying to be like unpredictable, but still have an approach. Beautiful. So we still want to feature the cutter a decent amount because he is kind of somewhat sitting four seam, and it's the pitch he's had the most success against. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to overthrow the cutter. We want to keep him honest, and it seems like our best place to keep him honest is inside against righties right now. So that's where we're going to pick our spots for the four seam. I'm actually going to throw it again up and in. He was late there, but hit it for a double. That is a that might be a triple. That's extremely unfortunate. <laughs> this is a four to two game if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah, we gotta go cut her again, lefty. Beautiful. Yeah, he's big time pressing at the plate. I can't say I blame him, but that's just too easy. Like, throw a cutter off the plate and get out of the jam. Your attention, please. All right, finest Duran. I'm really sad they got rid of his cutter for a slider. I think it makes the card a lot worse. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't had too much time, too much of a difficult time hitting this card, but I also haven't faced him on Legend yet, so we'll see. The slider is so much easier to read than the cutter was out of the hand, as I immediately flail at one. Maybe I should stop talking. <laughs> Uh, shifts on, we're looking for splitters away. Okay, good pitches from him. Don't want any part of that. It's a lot easier to keep a fast bat against Duran though now, because you won't just like swing through a cutter. Like, even when I was very early on that slider, I still hit it. Whereas, his old card with the cutter, you would just swing and miss because the differentials were so insane. Barely missed that with my PCI. Unfortunate. Good at bat, though. Yeah, Duran, another uh, outlier guy. Actually, double outlier guy. So, keeping a fast bat's a good approach, and it's a lot easier now that the cutter's not a threat. There's no way that's not gone. Dude, look at that PCI. Are we serious? Okay, we're serious. <laughs> Dude. Yo. It's a good thing I'm comfortably in the lead here. That was pretty brutal. Anyway, moving on. Show a cruising. Good at bats there from us last inning, aside from the Piazza one. But the approach was fine. Yeah, I think he's late side of good there. So the four seam into righties is still working a little bit. <clears throat> good stuff. 54 pitches through six and a third. He was late side of good. Back to our approach here. Cutters to lefties. And he's all over it. So we missed our spot there. That was a bad pinpoint input. And also a little bit predictable as well. So we'll try to get off of that now. He was still early, actually. Hmm. It seemed like he was all over it, but the swing timing actually says otherwise. Maybe that was just a bad spot. I think we'll try the cutter thing one more time to a lefty and see what happens. That was hung. Okay, he saw that the whole way and was late. So it looks like cutters inside to righties are still not good. Even though we got an out, he saw it the whole way. Hmm. Four seems to lefties now? Trying to make an adjustment. I need to throw it inside, though, because that's where I've been throwing the cutters. He should be late on this. 
Okay. He was not late. He was late side of good. <laughs> that was a not a great pitch. Again, another slider. Don't like these versus lefties, but this is way off the plate. Just for show. Now we're going to try to backdoor a cutter. He saw it the whole way again. Okay, cutters are not the move against this guy right now. He's seeing everyone really well. So we're going to pivot to uh, four-seam splitter versus lefties and four-seam slider versus righties. He was late there but fouled it. Dang it. Oh, what a pitch! That should have been a ball. <laughs> Let's go. We give up one, though. Still a three-run game. Cannot get complacent here. Should probably get the pin up next inning, too, which is weird to say, considering how this game's gone, but could turn on its head very quickly. Now we're close to that pitch. Feels good. Oh, Wit, dude, Wit has been so good. This is a double. Um, Chapman is basically the same as Duran, the same as Degrom. Like, he hasn't really mixed it up in terms of like what I'm trying to hit against. Like, it's been all outlier fastball. So we don't really have to change our approach a whole bit. Do I want to swing here? This is almost certainly a four seam. I think I do want to swing on this pitch. Okay, up and in changeup was not what I had in mind. I don't know how you hit that spot. Alright. What did he throw 3 2 last time? I don't remember. That's a pretty good cut, actually. I think we can tag on this. I think. He hit cut off, too. Come on. Nice. It was actually a really risky tag, but this run would be huge. We got Chipper up against a lefty now, too. He did not put the infield in, which is a mistake. So we need to just put the ball in play. We cannot strike out. Ground ball is a run. We can't pop out either. Oh, no. It's a really big mistake. I was really just trying to hit a routine ground ball. And I chased. It's a big miss there, especially at the risk we took tagging. Protecting there. It's a gross pitch. <laughs> We're just fighting for our lives here. Nice. Mickey on deck. If we can get there. I don't think he throws me a ball here ever. We're going to swing. Oh! He tried the up and in change up again for some reason and left it down the middle. That is beautiful. Brian Reynolds. This is a fastball now. I missed. Brian Reynolds giving us the insurance. Huge for the game state. We really missed a big opportunity not getting that runner in from third before two outs. So the fact we still scored him is wonderful. Good pitch. Blew it by me. But now we're at five instead of three. Going into the eighth. On the quest for a perfect game, Randy Johnson. Hitting on legend. We're going to stick with the approach we talked about last inning. Sliders and four seams to righties. Seeger making all the plays. And he's gone. <laughs> the rage-worthy Corey Seeger dive. We are in World Series. It took until the very last game of the season. For us to get a postable gameplay. 
if it's going to give me credit, sometimes when it sits here, you don't get credit. We made it. 23 points, 906. We got the best pitcher in the history of Diamond Dynasty. Perfect game, Randy Johnson, on the squad. Boom. There he is. Take a screenshot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it 35 minutes in, appreciate you. Hope you learned something about Otani and hitting against DeGrom. Take care, friends. We'll see you next time.